Hello, good evening, class. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Adelie, how are you? Fine, you. A little bit tired. I run today. Me toca correr. Hi, buddy. Let's see, uh, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. How are you? Sara, Ileana, welcome. Hi. Hello, hello. Good evening. Yolanda, welcome, Yolanda. Oscar, hi, Oscar. Hello. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to start, guys, with the class. Um, just let me open. Okay, so we're going to start with our session number four, uh, let's see, yeah, 14. Today is March the 23rd, and look at this. We have our class objective. Can you read this, please, Carlos? Participants will be able to answer questions about someone else's date and time of workplace activity. Okay, so in today's class, we're going to learn about a new topic. So we're going to discover that in a moment, right? Okay, so we have some vocabulary that we're going to check. For example, summer, spring, winter, autumn, midday, midnight, time, date, week, month, and year. So I want you to repeat that with me. Summer, 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 summer spring, summer. Summer. Spring, Summer. Winter, Spring. Winter. 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 Autumn. Autumn. Okay. Autumn. 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 Midday. Midday. Midnight. 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 Okay. What is midnight. midday? Do you remember midday? Midday. Mediodía. El mediodía, right? Midday. Ajá, el mediodía. Time. 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 Day. 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 Week. Month. Month. And year. Right? Year. Yeah. Year. Okay, so do you remember the seasons of the year? Summer? What summer? Mm. In verano. 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 Okay. Do you remember the advertisements on yeah. Channel 6? ¿Y recuerda el, el inicio del Canal 6? <laughs> Summer, Solo right? Solo que queman. <laughs> okay. Spring. What's spring? Do you remember spring? What's that? Spring. Invierno. No. Oh. Spring break. Oh. Ah, okay. Spring what's, break. What's that? Primavera. Primavera. <laughs> Primavera. Winter. Invierno. 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 And autumn. Otoño. Otoño. Okay. Uy, nice. qué ruido se escucha. Ya ahorita reverificamos. Qué ruido, no se escucha nada. Ya, ya nos ayudaron ahí. Thank you, ladies. And let's see. Um, we're going to check these questions. We're going to have a review. We're going to answer these questions and add more information or questions. So look at this. Here I have a lot of questions and we have to match these questions with the answer, with the right answer. What do you do on Monday? So which could be the um, which could be the correct, uh, let's say, answer for this question? What do you do on Monday? Ideas? So read the possible answers. I check the client's products and deliver the products. 
She comes to the workplace at A and answers the customer's emails. Carlos, can you continue with this one? Read it, please. They create. They create the employee document and help customers. Okay. Customers. Customers. Sorry, I continue. Customers. <laughs> Sorry. But. Sorry. I cook dinner and listen to music. Okay, dinner, dinner, right? Dinner. Dinner. Okay, uh, Marvin, continue with this dinner. one, Marvin. <clears throat> my college. My colleague, colleague. My colleague drives, my colleague. drives the truck and takes the pay payments. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Douglas, read the last one. Alex, here, Douglas, read this one, please. Activate your microphone, Douglas. Activate your microphone. I think he's having troubles with the microphone. Um. Okay, so the last one says, Alex plays soccer at noon and goes home at 5.30 or half past five, right? So look at this, question number one, question number one. So which could be uh, the answer? What for ser la respuesta for a question number one? What do you do on Monday? Ideas? Number one, two, three, four, five, or six? Uh, number, number two. Number two. Number two, what do you do on Monday? So read the questions. What do you do on Monday? Number one. Number one. Perfect, Oscar. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. What do they do on Tuesday? What do they do on Tuesday? They create, they create the employees. Uh -huh. Documents and help customers. Customer. Mm -hmm. customer. Okay, what does Elizabeth do on Wednesday? She comes to the workplace at 8 p.m. She comes to the workplace at 8 a.m., right? 8 and answers the customer's emails. What does Alex do on Thursday? Alex plays soccer at noon and mm -hmm. goes home at 3 half p.m. Goes. He goes home. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think that was Eduardo, right? How about this one? What does Samuel do on Friday? Any idea? What does Samuel do on Friday? This one or this one? Number, uh, number six. Number six. Number four. Four. This one. What do you do on, on this? Uh, what does the question. Do? What does someone what do? What do what does someone does do on Friday? I I cook dinner and listen to music. Mm, you or Samuel? Samuel. Mm. Oh, okay, my colleague, right? He. Okay. Okay, and let's see, what do you do on weekends? The last I one? I cook dinner. I, I cook dinner and listen to music. Uh -huh. I cook dinner and listen to music. Okay, and we have some more questions, but we're going to uh, complete them later. Let's see, um, Carlos, read the question, read the question, and Douglas, you answer, number one. Okay, Carlos, ask the question. What, what do you what do you do on Monday? Douglas, what do you do I, on Monday? I Douglas. check I check the clients' ah. products and deliver the products. Okay. Clients. Clients. Okay. Clients. Continue with question number two. And uh the question is for let's see, Sarita. What do they do on Tuesday? 
select a classmate, Sarita? Um, they greet the employees, documents, and help customers. Okay, customers, 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 customers. customers. Okay, let's customers. see um, the next one. Eduardo, please. Question three. What does Elizabeth do on Wednesday? Okay. What does she do on Wednesday? Read the answer. Read the answer, please. She comes to the workplace at 8 and answers the customer emails. Okay. Nice. And Marvin, continue with the next question about Alex. Marvin, Marvin. Mm, disculpe, disculpe. What doesn't Alex do on Thursday? Alex plays soccer at noon and goes hot and goes mm -hmm. home at five thirty. Uh, five thirty thirty p.m. Okay. Goes. He goes. 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 Uh -huh, he goes. <laughs> Okay, and let's see. Okay, uh, what do you do on weekends? Let's see, Ileana, what do you do on weekends? Uh, Elsie, 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 help us. I cook dinner and listen. To music. I cook dinner and listen to music. Okay. And look at this. We have uh, three more questions. When do your co-workers play soccer? So give me an idea. So let's answer question number, let's see, four, five, six, seven. Question seven. When do your co-workers play soccer? Give me one idea. So when do they play soccer? When? They play soccer. They play. They play soccer at Sunday on Sunday. Okay. On, on Saturday. Sunday. Um Sunday. weekends? Weekends. Okay. Next question. Who do you work with? Who do you work with? Okay. I work with. Who do you work with? For example, I work with Carlos. With and, my, uh -huh, with my neighborhood. With your neighborhood could be. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned two people, right? So I work with Carlos and Sarita. Where do you eat during lunch time? Where do you eat? Where do you eat? Ideas? China, China food. Uh huh. I eat in a Chinese food. Food. Restaurant, say. Restaurant. Or a, a food court. I don't know. What do you eat during? In a Chinese restaurant, in a food court, for example. So you can mention different places. I ate in Burger King, Papa John's, I don't know. I ate at a restaurant called, um, let's see, Metro Cafe, I don't know. So you, you mentioned a place, right? Okay, so these uh, questions, you have to answer these questions based on your in, own information, okay? Let's see. So we're going to practice once more the question and the answer, and then you're going to uh, practice that in the breakout rooms. What do you do on Monday? On Monday, I check the client's products and deliver the products. What do they do on Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay. They create the documents and help customers. Next question. So next question is about what does Elizabeth do on Wednesday? So you can modify this if you want. What does Elizabeth do on Wednesday? She, she comes... She comes to the workplace at eight 
and answers, answers, okay? Answers, the customer's emails. Uh, what does Samuel do on Friday? Alex plays soccer at noon and goes home at 5.30 p.m. or half past five, right? Uh, what do you do on weekends? On weekends, I cook dinner and I listen to music and I relax and I sleep, <laughs> okay? And when do your coworkers play soccer? They play soccer on weekends. Uh, who do you work with? I work with Carlos and Sarita. Where do you eat during lunch time? Where do you eat during, during, during lunch time? I eat in a Chinese restaurant. So you can mention the name, right? In China, well, for example, in a food court, or uh, you can mention any other uh, title, yes, right? Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna create the breakout rooms, but before doing that, we're gonna practice the verbs, the pronunciation of these verbs. Check, check, okay, I check. The liver, the liver, the liver, comes. The liver. So I deliver products, right? Repartir, entregar, right? So the delivery guy, right? So the one that the people send from Pollo Campero and, and he delivers Pollo Campero, I don't know. She comes, 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 answers, not W, right? Answers, answers. Create, create, create. Help, help, help. Let's see. The next one is cook, cook, listen, 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 listen up, listen up, mm -hmm. listen, drives, drives, and takes, takes. And the other one is place, place, place. Okay, so now we're going to uh, work in the breakout rooms, and I want you to read the questions and answer, answer. So you, what do you do on Monday? I check the client's products and deliver the products. Uh, another example, when do your co-workers play soccer? They play soccer on Monday. They play soccer on Saturday. Who do you work with? I work with, um, let's see, Marvin. He is my supervisor, for example. You can add more information. Puede agregar más información. So I work with uh, Marvin. He is the supervisor of the company. So you can add a uh, job occupation as well. Where do you eat during lunch time? I eat in different places. Sometimes I eat in, let's say, China. Book. And some other times I eat at Pollo Campero. So you mentioned different places, right? Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, I want you to get a screenshot from this. Tomale una captura, porque vamos a hacer la práctica en la sala. Okay, so let me know when you're ready. Dicen cuando estén listos. Ready? Ready. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. I know. Me just Ok, me avisan ahí si no recibieron la invitación, los demás. Sarita, me avisa. Ileana. Elsie. Hola, hola, Elsie, ¿me escucha? Elsie, Ileana, ¿me escuchan? Gab eh, Sara, Sarita.
tomó me uno a una sala, me sacó. El ok, interior. ahorita le voy a enviar la invitación, le va a aparecer ahí en la pantalla. Solo hace clic okay. ahí en unirse o join. Ok. Hola, hola, Elsie, Sara, ¿me escuchan, chicas? Sarita. Hola, me sacó. La sacó. ¿En qué sala? ¿Con quién estaba? Con nadie, o sea, no me conectaba y de ahí me sacó. Ok, vamos a hacer la, la última prueba. Si no, acá, solamente si me confirma él si está por acá. Ok, me dice. Por. Probamos ahorita, Sarita, a ver si le aparece. ¿El sí? ¿Me escucha el sí? Hola. Hola, el sí. Le es que me había, este, me había movido porque estaba... Ocupada, ahorita estoy. Ok, de acuerdo, sí. Ahorita la, 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 la ayudamos. De acuerdo, Sara. Muchas gracias, Sara. Ahí des. Ah. Dele. Hola. Me dice, what do you do? No, you stay. Eh, what do you do? En Elizabeth, do you... yo más creo que quizás lo que vamos a hacer, quizás cada uno, qué actividades hacemos. Me imagino. Que... Ya lo mandaron al grupo. Ya lo mandaron. Ah, sí. Quiero ver. Ah, sí, ya lo mando Maya. Ay, pero no sé. Dice, what do you do in Monday? Ah, quizás lo que vamos a hacer nosotros, igual lo que estaban haciendo ellos. Voy a saber. What do you do in Monday? Eh, eh, checking eh, los clientes chequear los clientes, dice, en los productos que compran sería la primera, quizás. Ay. Ok, pero Ay, no. ¿Qué ¿Usted? ¿Oli? ¿Los lunes? Yo. Ajá, chequeo a los, los clientes, digamos, que llegan. Hello. Bueno, acá, ah, Hi, Hello. Hola. Okay, so what you have to do is read the question and read the answer. Solo van emparejando la pregunta, la respuesta. Okay? Ah, eso, eso, ajá, más o menos. Yes, but it, in English. So just read Gracias. the information, okay? No worry, okay? Gracias. Bueno. Okay, so es la primera. Hola, Gaby. Ah, pues sí. Ajá. Ajá. Do on Monday. Eso sí, eso es. Ajá. Monday. I check the cleans product and deliver the product. What do, do, what do they do on Tuesday? The cleans the employees 
document and help us to me. What does Elizabeth do on Wednesday? She comes to the workplace at eight o'clock and answer the customer and email. What does Alex do on Thursday? Alex plays soccer at noon and goes home um five past. Two PM. What does Samuel do on Friday? Uh, Samuel Ebert. Yes. My column drives the truck and takes the payment. What do you do on Wednesday? I cook dinner and listen to music. When do you when do you for workers play soccer? They play soccer on whiskey. What do you work with? I work with Carlo and Sarita. What do you eat during lunch? I eat in a shine restaurant in a food court. Hello, hello, guys. How are you doing? ¿Cómo, cómo va, chicos? Bien. Ya repasamos. Good. ¿Y you finish? Yes. Sí. Yes. yes. Finish. Una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Donde dice, when do your CEO workers? ¿Es así o co-workers? Co-workers. Co-workers. Uh -huh. Co-workers. Co-workers. Okay. Co-workers. Soccer. That's another way to say colleague. Colleague. Otra forma de colleague. decir. Ajá, uh -huh. otra forma de decir compañero. Compañero de trabajo. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Oh. So just give me one second, okay? Oh, we're done. No, hello, guys. Let's see. 
supuestamente vamos a hacer, va, vamos a emparejar, va. Vamos a emparejar y se lo enseño. What do you do on Monday? Que no la repasó, no repasó con nadie. Hello, welcome. Hola. Hola, no? hola. Hola, hello, welcome sí, back. Con... Ya regresamos con... al principal, chicos. Okay. Ah, <laughs> ya. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna uh, start. Uh, we're gonna continue with um, an activity. Just let me show it to you. One second. Okay. Because so we're gonna have a some more speaking. So hold on. Okay, so look at this. So I'll, I need your help in order to um put the correct word, the correct double H word to the corresponding part of the question. Look at this. Uh, do you like to do in your free time? So which could be the double H that we need? What, how, when, who, what time, how often, or where? So which is the, the correct double H? Tell me, guys. What? 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 I read the question, Oscar. Read the question. Do you have... Uh -huh, the first one. What? what do you like? What do you like? What do you like to do in the same thing? Okay, so let's do something. Let's discuss about this question. What do you like to do in your free time? So what do you like to do, guys, in your free time? Free time means tiempo libre. So what do you like to do in your free time? I like to sleep. <laughs> Okay, you like to sleep. What else? What do you like to do in your free time, Yolanda? Besides sleeping, what else do you like to do? Like, what time do you have? Gameplay? I don't know. I I like to play gameplay. Ah, okay. And you like to play video games or uh, sports? Yeah. Video games. Mm -hmm. Okay, video games. Okay, video games. How about you, Carlos? What do you like to do in your free time? I like to uh, visit my parents. Okay, so you like to visit your parents. Nice. Sanita, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> I like to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you like to sleep? Mm, just that? <laughs> just sleeping. Okay, so you like to sleep. Uh, how about you? Let's see. Marvin, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, I play soccer. Mm hmm Okay. Um, I like to play soccer. I like to play soccer. Okay. How about you, Fatima? What do you like to do in your free time? Activate your microphone. And like, and like, is. I like eat, to eat. To eat. One, what do you like to eat? Pizza, hamburger, pupusas? Uh, hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburg okay, hamburgers. Nice. And how about you, Douglas? What do you like to do in your free time? Tell me. So let's share something about us. Douglas? I like, I like to run. Okay, so you run. like to run. Okay. How about you? Let's see, Elsie. Elsie, what do you like to do in your Bye. free time? I like to my friend to like my friend. Mm, okay, are you like to visit to hang out, salir, visitarla, or what do you like to do? Um, visitarla. Okay. Visit. Visit. Okay, I like to visit, visit my friend. My friend. What is your friend's name? Mm. 
Maria. Maria, okay. And let's see. How about you, Oscar? Tell us a little bit about your free time. What do you like to do? I like to play soccer. You like to play soccer. Okay. So, okay, nice. So you like to play soccer. Let's see, we're missing uh, anybody else that we're missing. Dennis, Dennis, what do you like to do in your free time? Dennis dijo que iba a estar trabajando, señor. Oh, yes. Que no se iba a poder conectar en el grupo ahí. Dijo ahí. Ya lo tengo aquí el nombre de Dennis. Vamos a ver. Nikki, Nikki, how about you? Tell us, Nikki. Thank you, Fatima. Bueno. I like to play the piano. Mm -hmm. Do you play the piano? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Nice. So we need to take some piano lessons. Nice. I think that's, is it, is it easy or difficult? It's hard. Fácil o difícil. Excuse me? Is it easy um, or difficult? Hard. It's hard and easy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. It's hard. Okay, nice. Thank you, Nikki. Well, so I, I like that. And, okay, so we continue with the next question. Next question. So which is the next question? Double H, guys. Do you have dinner? How, when, who, what, what time? time? What, what time? What time do you have what dinner? Time? Why? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, what time do you have dinner? Let's see, Jolanda, what time do you have dinner? In the seven o'clock. <laughs> at seven, okay, at seven, just for class, at seven, at seven, okay. And how about you, Sara? What time do you have dinner? At eight. At eight. Mm, just, just with the eight. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Douglas, you? At 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay, 10. Uh, We're finishing at, classroom. During the class. Do, Eduardo? When finish the class. Ah, okay. When we finish the class. Mm, okay, nice. Yeah, so do I. Yo también, sometimes. And how about you, Elsie? What time do you have dinner? Mm. Elsie? Mm. What time? Seven um, or after the class? Um... ¿Qué hora? What time? What time do you uh, have? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Cindy, how about you? Cindy, sorry, I haven't asked you. No le preguntado a Cindy. Cindy, tell us. What time do you have dinner? Uh, eleven. Eleven. Wow, you eat really late. It, uh, well, Eduardo already told us. Uh, Sarita, how about you, Sarita? At seven o'clock. Seven. Okay, nice. Let's see. Next question. Do you go to bed at night? Which one? When do you go to bed at night? Uh-huh. When do you go to bed at night? So it's again, it's again about the time. So when do you go to bed at night? So what time? It's the same question. What time? So I'm gonna start. I go, I go to, to bed, bed eleven. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I go. To, I go to bed uh, eleven p.m. Eleven. Okay, eleven p.m. Yolanda. Yeah, eleven. Eleven. Sarita. When do you go to bed at night? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Elsie. From. Um, este, 11. 11. Twelve. Alguien que se va a dormir a la medianoche? Or one? Midnight. 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 Or one, one a.m. in the morning? <laughs> that yesterday. That yesterday. Uh, that yesterday. Yeah. No. Yesterday you went to bed at 1 a.m. No, today. I go to bed at 1, uh, 1.45. 145, perdón, 145. So today you went yes. to bed at 145 a.m. Mm, okay. 
How because about I I had it because I had partial a uh, test partial or test final that you needed to in final the university. Mm, okay, so you end the semester. Yes. You tell me no secret. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Do you are finish? Do you finish tired? The semester. Very tired. Uh, okay. Excuse me, Arely. Uh, well, the question is actually about if you finished uh, the semester. Let me know. See, no. That's no. why you have uh, an ex an exam. Estamos estamos iniciando el ciclo tres y estamos en la evaluación dos en, oh, el, en la wow, segunda unidad. Very lucky. Tienes que ser tú. Very <laughs> very lucky person. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, how about you, um, Cindy? What time or when do you go to bed at night? Hello, uh, When do you go to bed at night? Um, what at time? A.M. A.M. or uh, P.M.? PM. PM. 8 PM. Mm, okay, so suspicious. Okay, uh, the next question. So can you tell me which is the correct double H for this one? Does she cook for? What does wo? How? Wo? How often? Where? Wo? Who? 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 Okay, who does she cook for? Ideas? Does she cook for? Who does she cook for? She cook for? Okay, so let's complete this, sent this uh, sentence. So you have to mention one uh, name. Your family? Mm -hmm. For? Your friend? Your, your family. Friend, your family. Okay. Your parents, grandparents. Example, uh, Marvin. Uh, okay. Um, who does she cook for, Carlos? Example. Who does she cook for? Uh, she cook for uh, uh, your friend. Okay. Okay. Sarita, My friend. Who... Uh huh. Yeah, could be. Sarita, who does she cook for? Um, she cooks for. She cooks for um, para mis hijos, como dije. For my sons, for my. For my son. For my son. For my son. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Yolanda, who does your boyfriend? <laughs> okay. No hay. No hay. <laughs> She doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay. Husband, entonces. Husband. Ah, okay. Husband. 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 Okay. Tampoco hay. No hay. No hay víctimas. No, no victims. No victims at the moment, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, at least you have fun. Um, okay, uh, Yolanda, tell us who does she cook for? <laughs> for my daughter. For and your me. daughter, okay. And la abuelita, que los pone, es que hace. Let's see. Uh, Marvin, who does she cook for? She cook for my mom. Mm, okay, for your mom. Let's see the next question. So, which is the next question? The next double H. How? How often? Or where? 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 Where do you sleep? Okay. <laughs> so you can be free to say where you sleep. Where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Let's see, Yolanda. Where do you sleep? 
So let's see. Let's see what answers can I get. Vamos a ver qué respuesta nos da. So where do you sleep? Okay. Example, I sleep in my bedroom. I sleep on, let's see, under a bridge. I sleep in a big bed. In a big bed, okay. In a um, king? <laughs> yeah. Okay. In a maca. Okay, nice. I sleep in a hammock. En el sillón. Como sofá. Donde sea mientras haya sueño. ¿Verdad que sí? Ya somos dos. I sleep in a okay. sofa. Ok. On a sofa. On a sofa. On a sofa. I sleep in a. In, in, in the, the desk. Computer. In front of the computer. Ok. At I the sleep desk. in front of the computer. At the desk. At the desk. Ok. Um, Eduardo. Es un turno laboral en el cuarto. At the desk. También en el okay, escritorio. Okay, en el suelo. <risa> en el suelo. Ok, si ustedes I dicen on class. the desk, está refiriendo que ustedes duermen encima del, del escritorio. Si digo at the desk, es porque están así, frente a la computadora, soñando. También, también en el suelo. En el suelo. <risa> Like on the floor. In the bus. In the bus. <laughs> on a petate. I don't know what to say. I sleep on the bus. Okay, on the bus. I sleep at the, well at work. I don't know. <laughs> Con este gran calor. Yeah. Yeah. In the sweat. Yeah, but well, I I have a petate. <laughs> I lead from a river. It's it's not it's not hot that the how do you call it? Weather. The weather. weather. It's not hot that weather. Mm, so where do you sleep? In a, on a river? In no, a river? I live I live near the river. Ah okay. Oh well, that's great. Where? San Luis Talpa. San Luis Talpa. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Uh, there are um, a lot of rivers here in El Salvador. I knew one, but it disappeared. Okay, nice. So we got some funny ideas where you sleep. And the next one, so which is the correct double H, guys? How or how often? Often. How often? How often? Okay. And the last one, of course, how, how do you how do you like eggs for breakfast? Okay, uh, it means so. How do you like uh, them to be prepared? Scrambled eggs, for example. Scrambled eggs. Or um, boil. No sé, pueden ser revueltos con vegetales. Um, herbidos, I don't know. So with the ham. Okay, so just the last question. Uh, how often? Fry and tomato. Ah, okay, fry with tomato. Uh, what vegetables, I think? Scrambled eggs. Scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Or with tomato, with vegetables. Okay, now uh, the last question is about uh, how often, how often do you visit your grandparents? How often? Look at this. Uh, I sometimes visit my grandparents. Eso, grandparents son abuelo. Mm -hmm. I don't have grandparents. Okay. So you don't have so you, mm -hmm. I sometimes I never I never visit them. I always I visit only two no, November two. 
On November 2nd. November the 2nd. Okay. And how about you, Sarita? Do you have your grandparents alive? So I how? No. <laughs> no. Uh, never. Never. Uh, never. No. Okay. Mm, Fatima? Nikki? Sara? Yolanda? No, tengo abuelito ya. <laughs> I okay. for my mommy, my mommy, yes, but I visit my grandma. Yes. Do you okay. visit and your okay. grandfather? Mm -hmm. Sí, lo visito a, a mi abuelita. Solo abuelita okay. tengo. Uh -huh. How often? Always, never, a veces, nunca, o siempre? Siempre. I always, okay? I always. Oh. Always. Always. Okay. So just to finish, um, well, so we're going to check that and then we continue with some more activities. Let's see. Well, actually, I just have my grandmother. So that's, she's the only one that I have. The rest pass away. Okay. And okay, well done, guys. So we have a nice practice. So now we're gonna open our manual on page Nasadi. <laughs> we're gonna open this um, page. Let me check it was page. Okay. Here. So we're gonna have a listening practice. So ready for a listening practice, guys. Okay? Look at this, describing a daily routine. Uh, Carlos, please read the instruction. Describing a daily routine. Listen to the audio file. They match the type with the action using drag and drop. Mm -hmm. Arrastrar y soltar. So that's mean drag and drop. Okay, so look at this. We have to drag this in uh, these places, right? Something like this. That's what you have to do. I'm going to send you the link. So open the meeting chat. Entonces, lo voy a enviar ahí al meeting chat para que se lo, lo realicen, ¿ok? Cuando lo realicen, también la captura para ver cómo, cómo le fue, ¿ok? So, and at the end, you check it. So, but now we're going to play. Primero, yo lo voy a poner y ya después ustedes se quedan resolviendo. They're going to have some time. Ready? Ready for this? Ready. It just lasts 20 seconds. Super easy. Okay. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Again, please, again. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym, and on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, so I'm gonna play once more, because I need to finish with the question. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. 
Okay, okay, so what do you have, guys? What does she do on Monday? What does she do on Monday? Work light. Uh huh. Work light. Very late. late. Mm -hmm. Work late. So drag and drop. Drag and drop. Todos tienen abierto el enlace? Yo no. Do you have it? Ya lo tiene? Está en el, en el chat. Me dice si el set. Si sí, lo tengo right. abierto. Ok, so you can do it. Lo pueden, lo pueden ir realizando, pues envíenle screenshots. So send the screenshot to the group. Envíen la captura ahí al grupo. And then we discuss it here. Ok. So don't cheat. No hagan trampa. Don't cheat. Because you have the possibility to see the answers. Check show uh, solutions. Ok. So don't cheat. Be honest. Okay, so let's do it. ¿Cuánto ya terminaron? Yo ya terminé. Okay, Marvin. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más ya terminó? Okay, so send your results, Marvin. Send your results. Vayan uh, viendo ahí los resultados. Uh, send it to the group. But you said that on Monday she works late. Work late. On what does she do on Tuesday afternoon? Meet my meet my friend Bill. Okay. Let's see. How about the next day? Thursday. Relax at home on Thursday night. On Thursday Wednesday. night. Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Business meeting. When? Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. How about Thursday? Thursday night. On Thursday night. Relax at home. Thank you, Cindy. Relax at home. Home. Um, how about on Friday, Friday night? night. Uh -huh. Go go out to clouds. Well done, Sarah. En dos me equivoqué. Okay. Uh, on Friday night, can you repeat it? On Friday night. Go. Go out to club. To clubs. 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 Okay, on Saturday, go to the gym. Go to the gym. Visit part. And what does she do on Sunday? Okay, so let's check it. So you're a genius, Marvin. Well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and you all, guys, you all. So do you get this one? Así les aparece todo. So that's what you have. Fatima. Yeah. Sarita, Yolanda, Sara, let's see. <laughs> Sara. <laughs> okay, Sara. Nice, perfect. Okay, Daniela, Nikki, well done, Nikki. Okay, so now we continue. We have some more activities. So we go back to the book. Oscar, well done, Oscar. So we, oh, okay, so we couldn't, it, it doesn't work. Okay, 
So now look at this. We have some uh, information questions in the simple present. But look at this. We have to create the questions based on these answers. So which are the answers? The ones over here. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. I work in the blue building. My and I start working at 10 p.m. We design and others create a new product. And they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay. I don't know if we work with these questions. No, right? Ese ejercicio no lo realizamos en la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? Ahí nada más me, me corrí. No. Creo que sí. No. No. No, ¿verdad? No. No lo realizamos todavía. No. Okay, so we're going to check um, some information questions over here. And then we're going to create the questions. Look at this. Um, it's important to remember and keep in mind this structure. Double H plus auxiliary do or auxiliary does, right? So oh. what, what follows? So the next thing that you need to include in your question is a subject, subject plus a main verb, right? Main verb, and then you add a question mark, okay? So let's look at the following questions. What do I do? Double H, what do, auxiliary, subject, I do, main verb. What do I do? I supervise the production, Workforce. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué me dedico? What do I do? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? Double H, auxiliary, do, subject, you, main verb, work. I work. Where do you work? Where do you work, Douglas? Work. How? I... Read the answer. Read the answer. I work in the counting. I work in the counting. Mm -hmm. I work in the accounting department. Next question. When do we go to meetings? When do we go to meetings? Look at the structure. Double H question, auxiliary do, subject we, main verb go, right? When do we go to meetings? Uh, read this answer, please, Sarita. We go. Meet. Uh -huh. When do we go mm, to casi no la escuché porque se me cortó. Okay, just mm. read the answer. Mm. Solamente mm. Estoy aquí leyendo. Sí. When do we go to meetings? We go? Meeting. We go to meetings. Times and week. Ajá, uh -huh. we go to meetings two times a week. ¿Cuántas veces vamos a las reuniones? ¿Dos veces? Dos veces a la semana. Dos veces a la semana. A la semana. Okay, how do they plan the marketing? Let's check it again. Double H, auxiliary do, subject, mm. they, main verb, plan. How do they plan the marketing? Como desarrollan, como planean la estrategia de marketing, okay? How do they plan the marketing? Read it please, Fatima. They investigate. Or the investigate the customer new needs 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 needs. Okay. They investigate the customers needs. Customer needs needs. Okay. What time do you take breakfast? Well, in here do you have? Okay, have. Let me correct it. Have or eat? Okay. Is it take? No, just have or eat. So when? What time do you have? Breakfast. Yeah, let's see, Carlos. I eat or have. I take, take breakfast. Ah, okay. I have breakfast at uh, okay. six a.m. Okay, yeah, sorry, six. Okay, so. Ah, uh, perdón. Okay, ya yeah, 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 entendí. Mm -hmm. I, I have breakfast at 8 a.m. 
A.M. Okay. A.M. 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 Okay. Um, A.M. And the other one was P.M., right? So do you remember yeah. P.M., A.M.? Okay. Acá, ese sí, lo, ese sí, modifíquenlo. We say have or eat. We don't say take. We say have or eat. Okay. So now that you know that, you're going to work in pairs, in pairs, well, in groups of three. And I want you to create the questions based on these answers, okay? Example, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So which could be my double H? ¿Cuál podría utilizar? ¿Cuál double H podría utilizar para obtener una respuesta como esa que tengo acá? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So we have a what, when, what time, where, how, and let's see, which is the other one. Okay, what time, a what, a where, a, okay, and how. Okay, so that's what you have to use. Estas son las que van a utilizar, okay? When. Mm, okay, when... No, será... Ah, no, porque es... No Ajá, sé. so that's why you have to decide. Entonces, eso es lo que tienen sí. que decidir. ¿Cuál de esas va a utilizar para cada una de esas cinco eh, preguntas? Okay, basado en esta respuesta. So okay. you have to read the, the, the answers. You have to read the answers and think about the double H question. And something else that you have to check is the verb. También algo importante para hacerles preguntas tienen que ver el verbo. Ok. So, look at this, the main verb. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So, which is the verb? Work. So, how about this one? Can you tell me which is the verb, the main verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? Have. Okay, in this one, number three, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Right. 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 Start, right? Main verb here. We design and others create a new product. Which is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo aquí, chicos? Design. Design, right? How about this one? They great, great. Okay, so I missed this one. What, when, what time, work, how, why? And okay, the main verb. Tell me again, main verb. Have right? Have. Okay, so that's why you have to keep in mind in order to create your questions. Do you want to see an example? You want to see an example? Yes. Number one. Okay, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Tengo escribir un reporte de la producción cada viernes. Okay, ¿cuál sería mi pregunta? What? What? Uh, Sorry. Uh, well, actually, I will say when. When? When. When do you have to write a report? Okay, oh, to write a report about that production. So when do you have to write a report about the production? I have to write a report about the production every Friday, okay? So the next one is easier. I work in the blue building. So which is the double H? Trabajo en el edificio azul. What, when, what time? When. When? This one? Where? 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 
So we're asking about a place. Estamos preguntando de un lugar. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Where? Okay, the next one. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Maria y yo empezamos a trabajar a las 10 de la noche. What time? What time? Mm -hmm. What time? What time? Okay. So now I'm going to create the breakout rooms and you're going to start working on it. Okay. So once you finish, you send me the results. You send me your questions. Okay. So join the breakout rooms. Cuando terminen, solo agregan sus nombres y lo envían. Okay. Okay. Sí, me avisan ahí si no les apareció invitación, Eduardo, Elsie y Sara. Elsie, Elsie, no le apareció invitación. Maria is I have to. I have to write what time Maria evolution and... every day. The Friday Friday. Eh, I no sé. I no sé. <laughs> ni yo, la verdad, ni yo. I, I have to. Have to write. Dice Wendy, ese es el ejemplo que nos dio. Wendy, you have to write this report. ¿Saben qué página es del libro? No Número 30 de la unidad 3. Número ah, okay. 30. Gracias. Oh. Marvin, ¿y usted? No, yo Ay. estoy más para acá que para allá. Oh. ¿Qué me les pasó? <risa> Estamos perdidos. Ay, me... hoy, hoy lo fracasamos, mi. lo siento. <risa> es que ya es jueves, mi. Ya es jueves, no hemos llegado viernes todavía. Ya el cerebro ya ya ningún, ningún día de la semana he descansado, ni sábado ni domingo. <risa> ok, vamos a poner el ejemplo acá. Um, de nuevo, la estructura. Recuerden la estructura que utilizamos para las double H. Double H, okay. word, plus, ¿qué auxiliares? Do o do. das. das. Sí, sigue das. Ok. El sí, verbo. Te... El verbo. Mm. You sure? No. No. No, <laughs> no lo siento. Yeah, sujeto. Más. Verb. Okay. Question Ay, verbo. Okay. Con eso resuelvo muchas cosas. Hoy oh, ya voy entendiendo. Okay. <laughs> well done. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. 
Okay. So we said, when do you have, okay, when do you have to write? Or van a ir utilizando la misma información que está ahí en la respuesta. Uh, to write when? about the production. La siguiente. We're, okay, so which is the double H para la siguiente? Trabajo en el edificio azul. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Where. Where. Auxiliary. Where. 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 Auxiliary. Where. Do. 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 Subject. You. Do. Building. Building. Where do you. And where do you. Okay. Where Finger. do you do. Building. Ok, ahora el verbo. Si yo quiero preguntar, ok, trabajo, yo trabajo en el edificio azul. ¿Qué me están preguntando? ¿A dónde? En el... ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde trabajo? Okay, en el edificio azul. Uh, Where do you do? Building in blue. Mm. Work. Work. Where you work. Work, okay. work in, in the blue. blue. In the blue, blue, blue. Where do you work? Se me trabó la ah, ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿A dónde trabajas? Trabajo en el edificio azul. Trabajo en el edificio azul. Nada. Solo eso se va a poner. Eso era todo, ¿ven? Eso era todo. Ok. Ah, Dios mío. No, no puedo María creer. María y yo start working at 10 p.m. María y yo. Eh. When? Ah, okay. sería bueno. Auxiliary. Mm, do or do. 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 When do. Two person. Ajá, we have two person. Tenemos María y yo. Okay. When do. Um, María. En. And I, for me, start working. Working, okay. No voy a decir la hora porque eso es parte de la respuesta. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿cuándo Mia y yo empezamos a trabajar? ¿O oh, a qué hora? Podría ser también. Podría ser aquí. When o oh, what time do Maria and I start working? And me start working. Okay, so when, uh, what time do Maria and I start working? ¿Qué hora empieza a trabajar Maria, empieza a trabajar Maria y yo, right? Okay, the next one. We design and others create a new product. Nosotros diseñamos y otros crean el producto nuevo. ¿Ideas? ¿Qué podríamos preguntar? Um, Nosotros diseñamos y otros crean el nuevo producto, el producto nuevo. Who? Mm. How? ¿Cómo? How? Veamos que nos dé esta respuesta. ¿Quién? What ¿Quién? do you do at work? Mm. ¿Quién? Ok, sí. pero what if, no es quién. ¿Quién es? Who. Who. Usted dijo what. Y es what. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Si yo le digo, ok, ¿qué, qué hace? Marvin? ¿Quiénes diseñan? ¿Quiénes diseñan? Mm, ¿Quiénes diseñan? Ok, who design. Design. Mm, no. Podría ser, podría ser. Oh, design. Oh, design, design. Okay. Podría ser una, una probabilidad quién diseña, we design and others create a new product. O podría ser what do you ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Do, uh, do you What do you what do? Is it? Uh -huh. We design, what do you do? ¿Quién diseña? Nosotros diseñamos y los otros crean el producto nuevo. O podría ser, ¿qué hacen? Okay. What do you do? ¿Qué hacen? Oh, we design, now they create a new product. Okay. 
Le damos la siguiente. They have a meeting because we have to talk about the influx and outflux. Yes. Ok, ah. se las dejo ahí de, de tarea. <risa> voy, a, voy a ir a checar la otra sala, ¿ok? Ok. Gracias, Gracias señor. Si les quedo ahí Gracias. la idea clara de cómo van a hacer. Sí, cómo. Sí. Ok. Uh, hello, hello. Did you finish? Hola, chicos. ¿Cómo van? ¿Terminar? Eh, creeríamos que sí. Oh. Practicando y entendiendo. Ok, so read your possible questions. Read your possible question. Number, number two. What do you have for number two? Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Number three. What time? What where time? I am. Okay, what time? What time? Repeat it, please, Yolanda. What time? What time, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m.? Mm, okay, auxiliary verb. Auxiliary? What time oh. is start working? Okay, but we're missing the auxiliary. What time okay. do? What time do Maria and I? Start working, okay? So yeah. what time do Maria and I start working? Okay, well done. Number four. Guys, help Why? me. <laughs> yeah. Help, please. <laughs> okay, we decide and others create a new product. Why? How do you... Oscar, repeat it. How, how do you design? How do you design? Yo. Okay, so read it. We design others create a new product. Nosotros diseñamos y los otros crean el producto nuevo. Okay, pero how, recuerden que es para preguntar Sería why. Mm, ok. Why, no. No. No porque no estamos dando una razón. Estamos no. más bien explicando. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? Nosotros diseñamos y los otros crean el producto nuevo. Entonces, how oh. sería más bien como oh. para un proceso o un estado. Sería. Okay. What? Uh -huh. What do you do? ¿Qué hacen? What do you do? Well, no, so we design and uh -huh. others create a new product. Uh -huh. okay, okay, number five. Why? 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 Auxiliary? Yeah, why? Uh -huh. No, how? How? Look at the answer. They yeah, have how? a meeting. Because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Acá ya nos está diciendo cuál es la que tenemos que utilizar. Why? Ajá, why. Y ahí tenemos el because para responder. Why? They, ellos tienen una reunión porque tienen que hablar de, las, de los ingresos, las salidas. Do. Ok, why do? Subject. What do they? Ajá. Why do they? Main verb? Have. What? A meeting. A meeting. Perfect. Have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Why do they have a meeting? Okay. Nice. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Okay. So um, take a get a screenshot if you have if you don't have it. And I'm gonna check another group, okay? Okay, thanks, teacher. Thank you. You you can practice, okay? 
Hello, Douglas, Sara, did you finish? Una nos falta. <laughs> ah, the last one is super easy. <laughs> super easy. They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. And cuál? In Why? Mm -hmm. Auxil mm -hmm. Auxiliary? Do. Mm -hmm. Subject? Verb? Uh, a meeting. Object. A meeting. A meeting. Is that being Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Ay, no, si me quiere la cabeza con él. No, but well done. Congratulations. Porque me está Well done, well done. Okay, so let's go back. Vamos, vamos a regresar. Lo hicieron súper bien. Lo súper bien. Si resolvieron esta, resolvieron las demás. Gracias. Okay, so let's go back. Gracias, Douglas. Okay, welcome back, guys. Let's see, question number one. Question number one. So another possibility is this. What do you have to do on Friday? What do you have to do on Friday? So it's another possibility. And ahí tienen otra posibilidad para eso. Uh, number two, what do you have, Carlos, for number two? Carlos team. Carlos, Carlos team. What do you hola, hola. Uh -huh. for question number two? Question number two. No tengo el pantallazo. No lo copié. Really? Who are you working with? ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando? Alone? Okay, who has this question? Vamos a ver, ¿quién tiene esta pregunta, chicos? Which is the question? Tell me. I work in the blue building. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Number three. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Uh, let's see, Sara and Douglas. One time. Uh huh. What time? Maria and I start working. Okay. Auxiliary. Do you? Uh huh. What time do? Maria. Okay. Perfect. Number four. Yolanda's team. Let's see, Yolanda, Steam, Oscar. We design and others create a new product. What do you design? Okay. Mm, okay. What do you design? Does it respond to this question? Responde esa pregunta. What do you design? Okay, veamos. Hacen match estas dos oh. es la respuesta. What do you design? No. Mm, okay. So let's. It, the question is okay. La pregunta está bien. But we need to uh, think about the question for this answer. Mm -hmm. We design others create a new product. Anybody else who has this? Question four, question four. Right, ¿Quién tiene la pregunta cuatro? Hello, hello. Eduardo, Douglas, Nikki. 
What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. In this one, yes, I made a mistake with this one. Okay. En esta sí no nos daba el verbo para eso. So my apologies for that. I apologize for that. And number five. Number five. Why? Okay. Why, Marvin? Why do they hold the meeting? Excellent. Have a meeting. Okay. Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. So now let's continue. So I'm going to send you a worksheet. Les voy a enviar un, un ejercicio para que sigan practicando estas preguntas, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna continue with something else. So just let me look for that. Okay, where is it? Give me one second. Okay, so we're going to check uh, the new topic for this class and look at this. So it's about prepositions, prepositions of time. So I hope you, you can take some notes, okay? So the topic is prepositions of time, okay? In, on, and at. So some of them, you already know some of them. And uh, can you help me with this, Carlos, please, using at. Can you read it, please? We use at with a time on the clock. Example. He left at two hours today. I get up every morning and five past, five half, half uh -huh. past. Uh-huh. Half past at five. Five. Mm -hmm. At fa five. Half past. The opposite. Empezamos con la Three. Con half. Half past five. Half past five. Mm -hmm. Half past five. five. Okay. Half past five. Okay. I see you at lunchtime. Launch, launch time. I'm oh, sorry, yes, I have a problem with that. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Give me one second, give me one second. Okay, so let me know if you can see the presentation. ¿Se ve la presentación? Okay. Okay, so this is what we're studying right now. We're learning about these prepositions in order to talk about time. 
Vamos a utilizar para hablar de tiempo. Look at this. Um, so let's read it again. At, we're going to use at for a specific time. Example, at five o'clock, at half past three, at a period of time, example, at noon. So that's the second usage. At night, at midnight, at the weekend, at the weekend, at a festival, example, at Christmas, at mid-autumn festival, at Easter. So here you have three usages. Acá tenemos tres usos para hablar de horas específicas, tiempos específicos, like at five o'clock, yeah, with the time, right? As we started yesterday, cuando veíamos el, el día de ayer. At a period of time, para un periodo de tiempo, example, at noon, mediodía, at night, en la noche, at midnight, medianoche, at the weekend. Algunas de estas, bueno, estas expresiones son estandarizadas. Quiere decir que las vamos a decir así, siempre. ¿Ok? Uh, at noon, at night, at midnight, at the weekend. At a festival, con festivales, at Christmas, at mid-autumn festival, and at Easter. So I'm going to give you some chance if some maybe you can get a screenshot. Me dicen si ya le tomaron captura o si ya lo copiaron. Ready? Ready? Ready. Yes, ready. Okay. So now let's continue with the second one. In. Can you read this, please, Sarita? In. In a specific month. Example. In January. In March. In a season. In speaking. Perdón, in spring. In summer. In a period of time. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. Okay, nice. So in, when do we use in? Specific month. Con los meses del año. So you use in. If you want to say, for example, when is your birthday? My birth birthday is in February. My birthday is in March. My birthday is in January. Ya después vamos a contrastarlo con on, okay? In a season, una estación de una estación del año, in spring, in summer, in autumn, in fall. In a period of time, periodo del tiempo como eh, parte del día, en la mañana, en la tarde, en la noche, ¿verdad? So in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay, so let, do you have questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento, chicos. No, ninguna. No. No yet? So let me know. On ready? Yes, I read. Ready. Okay, so we continue with the last one and then we're ready. On. On. Read it, Marvin, please. On a specific date. On Sunday. On Sunday morning. On Chris, Christmas Eve, Eve, Christmas? Eve, Eve, Eve. On um, New Year's Day. On date. Okay, on a date. Example. Uh, on the second. Second May. Okay. Second May. On the second May of May. 
Mm -hmm. On the 13th of June. On the 13th. Twenty. And ten. Twentieth. 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 Okay, so look at this. On. On means as the rest and right? Mm, the specific, it means the days of the week. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, on Sunday, on Wednesday. So with the days of the week, you use on. Con los días de la semana, vamos a utilizar on. También para partes específicas del día. En in veíamos partes del día. Ahora partes específicas quiere decir on Sunday morning. On Sunday. Otra parte del día. Afternoon. On Sunday evening. So that's what we mean with the specific parts of a day. O sea, aquí es más específico. Venimos desde lo general a lo específico. Okay, on Sunday evening, besides that you have a holidays, también tenemos algunas celebraciones. On Christmas Eve. On Mother's mm -hmm. Day. Okay. El, día, el Día de las Madres o New Year's Day en Año Nuevo. So, uh, besides that, besides in, you're also going to use um, this uh, on to talk about um, holidays. También lo utilizan para hablar de, de celebraciones. Okay. Bueno, en que venimos de específico, de general, a uh, más específico. Okay, uh, because, well, I'm going to show you some more examples later. So here you have some tips that you can take notes. To refer to a day, use a preposition on before a day. My birthday is on the 1st of January. Entonces, cuando son fechas, vamos a utilizar on Fecha específica, ¿verdad? Because if I only use uh, the month of the, the month, it's in. Entonces, si solo utilizo el mes, ¿qué preposición sería? Mm. In, right? In January. January. Okay. Okay, to refer to a month, use the preposition in before a month. Okay. Mary's birthday is in December. Okay, si solamente mencionamos el, el mes, in. Si es fecha específica, on. Quiere decir que van a incluir eh, la fecha exacta, el día y el mes. Okay, exercise number one. Sun went to China. Preposition? Yes. November. In, on, in November. In, in November. Okay. And came back y regresó. On. Oh. On Christmas? On Christmas, he arrived. He arrived. He arrived. He arrived. He arrived. In China. It's in November. The 30th of November. Uh, at, uh, at November. Mm. At, at the thirties. Specific dates. Fechas específicas. On. On. On the 30th. In the afternoon. Una parte del día. At, at the afternoon. Mm. Check it again. Check your notes. On. Okay. On because it's specific. Mm. Really? Mm. Mm. In the afternoon. Como una parte del día. En la tarde. He stayed with uncle. Oh, in the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Parte del in día. The in. Ahora, 
partes específicas que incluyen el día más la mañana, la tarde o la noche es on. Es más específico. Uh -huh. The 23rd of December. Ok, so let's read it. Let's read it. Uh, Sam went to China in November and came back at Christmas or on. En este caso, eh, podemos utilizar at o on con la palabra Christmas. He arrived in China on the 30th of November. Miren, fechas específicas. ¿Cuándo regresó? El 30 de noviembre. Uh, ¿Cuándo? En la, en, la en la tarde. tarde en, la tarde. en la tarde. ¿Por qué no utilicé on? Porque no estoy diciendo el día. Uh, well, no estoy diciendo el día ni he incorporado la parte de la tarde. Solamente la tarde. In the afternoon. He stayed with Uncle Joe. Specific dates on, right? On the 23rd of December at night. Okay, so let's check exercise number two. Cindy usually swims with her family. What do you think? What do you think about this? Cindy usually swims with her family on, Sunday. on Sundays. Okay, they go swimming. Ellos van a nadar 8 o'clock. At. At. Ok. So, let's see. I'm going to um, give you a moment. So, you think about the answers. Think about the answers. Uh, the morning, every year, she has a long holiday. Summer, she likes swimming with her brother. The afternoon in the summer holiday. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, so what do you think about this? Um, okay, on Sundays they go swimming. Preposition at at eight o'clock. At preposition the morning in, in, in the in. morning in. Every, every year. Every year. Uh huh. Continue, Marvin. Every year. Uh, every year she has a long holy. Holidays in summer. Okay. She likes me. Uh -huh, Fran, she likes, she likes swimming. swimming with her brother. In. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. So there you have it. Well done. Easy, right? Easy or difficult? Easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, uh, come on, it was easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna finish. Let's see with. Arely, uh, okay. pregunta. Mm -hmm. Puede volver a explicar. No sé, ¿verdad? quizás solo por mi parte, por lo que no. Cuando ocupo in y cuando ocupo on, porque ahí sí me, me medio me enredo todavía. O me super enredo. Ok. So, you let, let me show you something. Okay. Déjame ver si tengo por aquí el chart. At finish the class. No, oh, I got it. Got it. No, because probably you have this, uh, the rest have the same question. Okay. 
So I'm going to share something else with you. Look at this. In and on, you said, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, in before months and years. This one. And on before days and dates. Uh, and at before times. Acá, en pocas palabras, esto, miren, chicos. Excepto cuando tenemos... In algo. es para mes y año, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y on es para días y fechas. Días y fechas. Y a... Para algún tiempo. Ajá, o horas exactas, hora. horas, para la, las horas. Um, tenemos algunas, algunas, algunas pequeñas, eh, algunas de ellas son estandarizadas, quiere decir que no las podemos modificar. Eh, por ejemplo, el at, nosotros veíamos por acá. Ok, veamos. Este, we use on with special days and at with, with special times too, lo que les comentaba. Que puede ser que el at, usted también lo utilice con el at y el on. Pueden utilizarlo también con fechas especiales. Por ejemplo, on my birthday, en mi cumpleaños, on New Year's Day, en año nuevo, on the last day of school. Ah, ok. At midnight, at bedtime, at dinner time. Sí, pero eso ya hacía parte de los usos de, de at. Estas no las modificamos. Siempre sería at midnight, at bedtime, a la medianoche, a la hora de dormir, a la hora de acostarse, o en la cena. A bedtime, on Halloween. Hola. Carlos. ¿Nos podría proporcionar la filmina del, de los usos del on? Uh -huh. okay. Tal cual nos puso la del ir y la del at. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Um, so, this is the, the case where you use on and at for special days. Entonces, con special days utilizamos on and at. Ok. And we use in with parts of the day. También utilizamos in con parte del día. Y at with night. Excepto que at, acá eh, con la palabra night, sí, siempre utilizamos la profesión at en este caso. En este caso. ¿sí? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. And, well, it's also possible, but we need to check. Entonces, también, en cierto modo, es posible utilizar in, lo cual no es muy, vamos a ver, night. Ok. So look at this. The time between one day and the next when it's dark. Entonces, aquí lo que queremos comprobar es que si podemos utilizar otra preposición eh, que no sea solamente at, porque lo común es escuchar, ok, at night, at night, at night, at night. Sí, ok, it's ok. Well, we need to check. At night, these animals only come out at night. By night, por la noche. They sleep by, uh, by day and home by night. Ellos duermen durante el día, o por el uh, día, durante el día, y cazan por la noche. In the night, does your baby still awake in the night? So it's possible. This is possible. Okay, but it's, uh, well, it's not uh, really common to see that. Okay, ahí el envió Carlos, eh, me parece que Sara. No sé si Sara la envió. Sí, sí, gracias, gracias. Bueno, pero si no, ya, se, ya les voy a compartir el enlace, okay? Voy a compartir el enlace también. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna stop in here. So just let me pass the attendance list. Okay, mañana vamos a estudiar un poquito más esas proposiciones, porque si tienen bastante 
bastante gustos. That's a little bit general. Okay, let's see. Eh, Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández. Present. Okay, Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Present. Okay. Daniela Beatriz Gómez. Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga Menjibar. Present. Thank you, Douglas. Elsie Yanira Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Elsie. Fátima de Jesús Gómez. Present, señor. Fátima. Present. Hola. Thank you, Fátima. Present. Francisco Antonio Acuña Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Gabriela Michela Maya Guzmán. Héctor Alejandro Pérez. Liliana Guadalupe Jerónimo Morales. Present. Thank you, Liliana. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Marvin Alexander Pérez. No, por ya casi. Okay, Nikki Daniela Costa. Present. Thank you, Nikki. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Thank you, Oscar. Ramiro Denis Linares. Denis Linares. Okay. Sara Gisela Peña. Present. Thank you, Sara. Sarita Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you, Sarita. En Yolanda Afane, Gabriela Afane Hernández. Present. Thank you. Ok, um, vamos a ver. Yolanda, se puede quedar un momento. Veamos quién más. By the way, uh, remember that the activities are already in the platform. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, chicos? Eh, me he quedado, yo me he quedado un poco atrasado por, por el trabajo, pero he hecho dos actividades. Okay. Yo también estoy un poco atrasada. Pero sí. Pero sí. Eh, ¿En cuál actividad estaríamos ahorita? En, cuál? en la cuatro. En la unidad cuatro. Hoy sería unidad um, tres, actividad cuatro. Unidad tres, actividad cuatro. Vamos a checar. Bien, en, en, en el homework. 14, ok. 14. Es que okay, no, no, como no, 10 no, o 12, no. quizás. Y a ver si voy atrás o adelante. Eh, no me he vamos Los por la quiz 14. no me aparecieron. Ahí ahorita le muestro. Ah. Sección 1 traía 5 tareas. Sección 2, 5 tareas. Y acá está el examen. No sé, Eduardo, si acá ya ingresó. Sí, el examen. Por ahí creo sí. que ya llegué. Ajá, aquí, al midterm. Sí, acá. Lo Tenemos que hacerlo desde el sábado pasado. Uh -huh. Desde la semana pasada. O sea, acá uh -huh. habían 5 tareas. Acá. Abre la sección 3, porque creo que ya la terminé también la 3. Ok, entonces estamos súper bien. Vale, después de la tarea 10. Desde la unidad 2, seguimos uh -huh. con la tarea 11. La tarea 11 ya de la unidad 3. Vamos a salir acá. Sección 3. Va un poco lento la internet. 4, quizás o la 3. Vaya. Ahora en la 3, sección 3, where do you work? Acá solo hay tareas, no hay examen final. No hay examen, no hay examen al final. Próximas semanas sí van a encontrar un examen. Ya, ya terminamos prácticamente la otra semana, o solo terminamos mañana, semana 3 terminada. La próxima semana es la última semana. Ah, bueno, tenemos vacación, me parece. No, todavía no. <ríe> ya lo he tenido que mandar. No, no sé. Todavía no, no, no hay vacación. Así que <ríe> no se ilusione. <ríe> y no es la próxima. No. <ríe> La otra. Ah, la, la primera de abril, la primera. Ah, entonces sí. terminamos justo el mes. Vaya, miren, acá tenemos
Ok, tarea 11. Por ahí creo que voy por la 12. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, esa ya la hice. Okay. Y me saqué 0.20. Ajá. Yes, that's why you have to get 20. 20 points. 20 puntos. Okay. No, no me saqué 20. Me saqué más poquito. Mm, so you need to check the questions. Me <laughs> vamos a revisar. <laughs> Mañana. mañana mañana cerramos esta unidad entonces mañana vamos a dedicarnos a, a seguir trabajando en el libro ah, y... por eso me saqué poquito si no los hemos visto pero bueno mañana lo vemos pero es que en algunas preguntas necesitas poner el punto o algo sí tiene que tener sí, el del punto me Creo pegaron que cuando puse eso. el punto me salieron todas buenas al final Ajá. me corregí Recuerda ah. que tienes que ubicar capital letter. Yes. También. Where do you go to school? Ahí, okay. question mark. Acá ya no lleva punto, ahí lleva un símbolo de interrogación. Ajá. Question two. What, what do you do? What do you do? Question three. Where does... John. Come from. Where does he come from? Where? Where? Where do you, do you play tennis? Play tennis. Where do you play tennis? Question five. Uh, how do you get to work? Mm -hmm. How do they get to work? Yeah, then you check it. Entonces, tienen que tener cuidado con los, eh, la letra mayúscula. Mayúscula. Con los, si es pregunta, no van a publicar puntos, ¿verdad? No, que no it... question mark. También cuidado con los espacios. Por eso puede ser que le esté bajando puntaje. Entonces, chequen eso. Sí, um, porque me da. Entonces, miren, ahorita vamos aquí. Tarea 14. En un ratito las pueden realizar. That's super easy. The class is in on at. She left London in on at. Okay. Super easy. So we're going to check that tomorrow, okay? Vamos a checar mañana porque es late, okay? So you have to sleep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And... Good night, friend. Good night. Good night. Night, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Hector, no. Hector, Denis, no. Okay, bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.